better example of a small one? No, no. Do you want to tell me about your soil management in this greenhouse? <laughs> uh, yeah, soil management in the greenhouse is uh, it's like a shell game, right? Like, I try to rotate crops, but it's, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of a joke rotating crops when the roots go everywhere, you know? So, um, the problem with this greenhouse is it's been here umpteen years over the same piece of soil. So, um, uh, you get built-in problems, uh, like, uh, salt deposits, for example, which is probably what you're looking at right now. <laughs> uh, so I try not to, I don't use, uh, any animal-based, uh, uh, composting here anymore or even fish compost um, I use alfalfa meal now I'm kind of playing with that to see what uh, but the, but the salt doesn't doesn't really go away it's a uh, you know the ground needs to be un this needs to be uncovered and and turned into outside again is what it needs so the next thing I'm going to be doing soon when I get going on it is uh, probably mobile or portable greenhouses that I move across the field out there. I mean, that's the whole reason I've got those tunnels that we were working on the other day. Um, I have those because I can rotate them around the field effectively, you know, and I can come back every three or four years to the, to the, to that spot with tomatoes again. Whereas in here, you move you move the bed from there to there or there to there. Like, it's not really much of a rotation. It's not an effective rotation. Um, anyway, so far, I still get the early crop off of, off of it here. And the, the later crop doesn't follow through because there's, there's a lot of, uh, like, endemic problems inside a house that's been around this long and you're growing ground beds. That's just kind of the way it is at this point. <laughs>